Hello, hello, hello. It is Wednesday. Wednesday and another day of Pink Ribbon Pilates. Uh, with me, Carla Armo, Pilates instructor, life coach, personal trainer, entrepreneur, creative artist, all that sort of stuff. That's me. And I'm just so enjoying bringing you every day of October for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 20 minutes of Pilates. So join in. It'll be recording will be here as well. And I will share, share, share. Share, share, share as well. And find the link and donate to my PayPal pool in support of the Dominica Cancer Society. All right? For Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Enjoy. Today I'm going to do a classical Pilates based workout. Um, I'm going to really look to the classical um, mat repertoire. We're obviously not going to do all of them in 20 minutes but I'm going to do some of them and work you through some of them that will really give you a full body workout. So I hope you enjoy. It's going to be good. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to start on the mat. <clears throat> Come right down to the mat. To start with, I will take you right down to lie on your mat. Good. So to start with, just to ease out the back, we'll keep the knees bent. We'll start thinking about the spine. From the crown of the head, lengthening away from you all the way to your tailbone. Think about the natural curves of your spine and feel as if you want to just rest the belly nice and relaxed. Okay, let your arms float to the sides, shoulders are nice and open. And just releasing any tension anywhere. At this point, my legs are quite loose. So I'm not trying to keep them upright or anything. I'm just allowing them to feel a little relaxation. If you want to go ahead and let them fall open, if it's, you have access to that, careful if this is not nice in the back or the pelvis, but just um, listen to your body, okay? Now, our sessions here on these um, Pink Ribbon Pilates 20-minute sessions is quite um, level for anyone can do it, and I'll give you modifications as well different ways to do it just to access more people can get the benefit okay so I'm gonna go ahead now I've rested into my pelvis I've rested into my inner thighs yeah I'm gonna go ahead now and just take my legs up to the my knees pointing to the ceiling and my feet are hip distance apart I'm bringing them quite close in towards my um, hips my sits bones here I'm thinking about my hip joints in line with my middle of my patella. Okay, my fingertips are reaching long. I'm gonna take a breath, and as I breathe in through my nose, for those of you who haven't been with me before, I try to send the breath into the sides of my rib cage and into the back. And then as I exhale, I really try to just pull that back down. And as I do that, I pull my scapula, my shoulder blade, down into the lats, down into my back and into my waist. So you can feel the, the shoulder blades depressing down inhaling breathing into the sides and as you exhale just engage those muscles right here and right into here to feel the scapula depress and retract and as you do that continue a couple more breaths like that and the importance of that is that you lengthen the muscles that attach to the top of the scapula and you start to relax them so the tension that's in your neck and shoulders starts to melt away. So as you breathe out, you engage into the muscles. Serratus posterior, serratus anterior, the latissimus and the obliques, external obliques. Just feel that they are working there. And then engaging into the transversus. So your deep muscle now, the muscle, the first muscle of the abdominals underneath these, you want to feel them just hollowing onto the waist as you deepen that breath and the exhale. So now we're breathing a little bit more active into the belly, breathing into the sides. And as you exhale, you get more active into the abdomen, feeling the abdominals hollowing out and narrowing. You shouldn't feel braced and pushed in. It should just be like a hollowing, narrowing. Okay, you're breathing in and pulling that just gently, about a 40% connection to your center, 40-50%. Now we're continuing down the body, inhaling. And as I do it this time, I exhale, I also feel the pelvic floor just connected. I feel the rib cage with the shoulder blades 
feel the belly button drawing narrow, feel the sits bones come together and my tummy is nice and flat. Just feel those sensations in your body. I'm still breathing, I'm now aware of my ankles and my feet, all 10 toes on the mat, all the foot, feeling the sensation of the feet innovated by the breath as well. Like you have an electrical circuit in your body with the breath. Just becoming aware of the breath, and I'm going to be quiet for three more breaths. Just become aware of yourself. One more breath. Just feeling melted into the mat. Beautiful. Then we're going to get active now. So I'm going to prep for the 100, which is our first traditional classical Pilates exercise. I'm going to prep for the first um, exercise. So I'm hovering my arms, inhaling, nod my chin. Exhale to lift my head, neck and shoulders as I curl up with the top of my abs. I inhale into the back, feel the stretch from the crown of my head to between my shoulder blades and I exhale to come back down. A lot of these exercises will seem familiar with what I've done because all the exercises that I do are based on these classical 34 exercises that I modify and I tweak and I play with to give us more movement and just different ways to um, 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 also what I'm talking about enjoying and being very creative with the exercises and seeing how we can tweak them more for our particular needs and one more time coming up so each time I come up, I'm exhaling. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just exhale a little bit deeper and pull my belly button down so I feel my pubis lift a little bit and I'll come back down here. Beautiful. So now my belly is a little bit pushed into the mat and then my pubis is up a little bit in my imprint. I'm going to take my arms up now to add to that movement. I'm going to exhale to lift a little bit higher so we get a deeper scoop into the tummy, inhaling into the back and exhaling to come back down. Now at this point, I'm going to add on to this. So in an imprinted spine, I can take one leg up. Remember, you can always leave your legs down or you can even leave your head down if this is getting too difficult. Okay, so we can also just go here or we could have left the, um, the legs down. And then we're gonna come up again into the exercise, draw the belly in. Then you can stay in that place or you can come ahead with me into the full 100 position. Your legs could be lower as well. And then you're going to inhale into the back, pumping your arms for five counts and exhaling and pumping for five counts. Now my arms are like as if I'm slapping some water. So I'm warming up my back, I'm warming up my abs, I'm warming up my chest and my arms. My legs are squeezing away from me. So I'm really active in my legs, my thighs. I'm scooping into my belly. I'm looking towards my belly button so that I don't have my neck hanging out. I keep my head tucked in. Like you have a right little tomato underneath your chin, you don't want to be grabbing it, but you want to be holding it. And keep pumping those arms. Cycles of breath, in for five counts and out for five counts. In for five counts, out for five counts. Remember, if you're getting tired, you can always bend your knees if it's too much on your back, you can put one leg down or both legs down. Let's go two more cycles there. Should be 100 by now. <sighs> Call it kind of count. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, pulling the tummy in. And then bring those legs in. Head, neck and shoulders go down and hug your legs in. I'm pulling my knees towards my armpits. So in case you took any tension into your lower back, you can feel your tailbone curl up and feel a release into the back. I'm gonna just roll my head from side to side, stretching into the sides of the neck, just in case you've got too much tension there. Sometimes it's a little bit much for the first time, beautiful. From here, we're going to go into our roll-ups and I'll give you different options. I'm going to lift my head, neck and shoulders, place my legs down and lengthen my legs away. I'm gonna inhale, reaching through the body, exhale to peel myself up off the mat, Try to maintain a nice C curve, like as if I'm rolling over a ball. Inhale into the body, feel the rib cage pulling behind you, and then exhaling to float back down. Lengthening, inhale, 
Exhale, heeling up, scooping into the tummy. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more here. Sipping up, inhale and reaching up. Now just let's add a little extra stretch into those hamstrings. My chin is tucked in, my rib cage, my breastbone is reaching up, my stretch back of my legs, flex my feet. Inhaling into the back and exhaling. I'm going to point my toes as I roll over my sits bones and I'm coming all the way down. Lengthen my arms down beside me. I'm going to take my left leg up. If you want, you can put this leg up. I didn't give you a modification for your roll up. You can always do your roll up when you're doing your roll. You can help yourself with one leg. Okay, I forgot to say that, but it's okay. <laughs> and then you're going to take your leg up for your single leg circle. So we did 100. Roll ups and those single leg circles. We're leaving out one of them, which is too advanced. Take that leg up nice and straight. If you need to, you bend this leg, but this stays absolutely still, okay? You're gonna take that leg across the body, sweep it around and down and around to the top. Now imagine you're making a circle in your, with your leg on the ceiling. So you really wanna think about a beautiful circle, completely round. Don't try to make it triangular or anything and really making it nice and round. Let's go one more here for five. I think that was number five, was it? Or did I do four? Five, let's do one more five. Reaching that up there, I like to flex my foot for the next one. Go ahead and release into that. Feel the waist is long. Feel this body is long and opposite direction and around. And lift, and two, and zip, and three, zip it and four, really working into the front of that leg and really working into the back of that leg. And reach, beautiful, I'm gonna point that toe, I'm gonna to reach that leg away from me, lengthen through the body, check that I'm the same shape on both sides. Sometimes you want to hitch the hip up a little bit into the back. Melting my ribs down, I'm reaching the leg away from me before I take it up right from my hip joint. So my pelvis is still long and neutral, lengthening that away, other back of the leg is in, Take it across the body, circle it around and back. And take it across the body, circling it around and back. And across and up. And across, zipping up, take it to the top. One more and lift and flex that foot. Press that away, opposite direction. We're always to just monitor that we keep it nice and long into the spine and try to really recruit symmetrically through the body, really feeling that connection into the body. Reaching up, reaching up. Let's go one more here. Sip up my tummy, really big work in the abs and the leg. Point that toe and reach that leg away from me. Really feel that nice stretch through the body. Inhale there. I'm gonna sip my tummy up. I'm gonna drag my legs in. Good. Then I'm gonna lift my head, neck and shoulders and pick my legs up to round my back. Just in case you had any tension building up in the back, just rock yourself from side to side like a little ball. And then I'm gonna lift my head again and I'm just gonna make a little rocking motion so that I can come into my rolling like a ball um, exercise. I think what I do is every third day, I'll do some classical work with you all so that you can learn all of the exercises by the end of October. So this is our rolling ball, rolling like a ball. This is one of the exercises as well. You should be balancing at the top, not like me. Pulling in, pulling in, and pause. Now, we're going to do our abs series here, okay, which is a nice one to go with today. We're gonna to take your legs up and try to roll down through the spine and stay here. I'm gonna hold on to the outside with the outside hand on the shin, hand here, thumb here, hand here, shoulders relaxed. I'm gonna pull this leg tension in here so I can feel the lower abs, and I'm gonna stretch into this leg, front and back of that leg, for our single leg stretch, okay? So I have everything nice and centered. And then I go to the other side, outside hand on shin, inside hand giving me a little pressure, scoop my tummy and press that leg away, press that leg away. And inhaling and exhaling to press that leg away. Inhale, 
and exhale and press that leg away as I press into my hand. And I inhale and exhale. And I pull, shoulder blades down. And I go again, reach, zipping up. Let's do one more set so you really get it. And press, and press. And one more here, press, and press. I'm gonna draw those legs into center and head, neck, and shoulders go back down. Now there are five in the series of ab series. I will only do three today. And I'm just letting you rest in between. Usually I'll do all five without the rest done. So if you want to do this, you can join me for my 12 o'clock class, which is 7 o'clock in the Caribbean. And I will do the whole series on a Wednesday for you if you want to join that. So I'm coming back to this position. I'm going to reach my legs up to the ceiling. And then I'm going to hold on to one leg and just reach that other leg away. Now when I reach that here, I'm going to flex that leg and get that length. Keep the waist long and feel that stretch with each leg away from each other. Inhale, and then when I exhale, suck that tummy flat, reach the heel from the toe, length it away, length it away, length it away. Inhale, and exhale, exhale, inhale to switch. Exhale, exhale, and looking down. Exhale, exhale, inhale, don't let the neck land. Exhale, exhale, take both legs up together, Take the knees bent, hands behind the head. I'm zipping up. I'm going to turn towards my right thigh, shoulder towards my thigh, and the other leg goes away. <sighs> Inhale through center. Exhale. <sighs> Notice my elbows don't move. It's my body that's moving. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You can do one or two more sets. You can also just do it here. If it's too much for your back or too much for your abs, you can just simply do it here and you can take a break in between. Holding that there, beautiful. So you would have been here and then head, neck and shoulders lengthen down and hugging on to your legs, relaxing into your shoulders. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to release the legs down. I'm going to lift my head, neck, and shoulders, roll myself up, and I'm going to come onto my tummy to do an exercise. And I'll give you the swan prep. Okay, so I'm going to have my legs shoulder width apart. Okay, so we'll do the swan prep. Inhale, everything is tight, legs are long, shoulder blades are double. I'm going to open through my chin. I'm going to draw my belly up and I'm going to lift my chest off the mat. I'm trying not to use my arms too much. I'm going to inhale there and I'm going to exhale to lengthen back down. My ribcage and my pubis coming towards each other, breastbone and pubis. Inhale, exhale to lengthen out. Really feeling the length through the body. Inhale to pause and exhale to lengthen back down. So feeling the work in the back, okay? I'm going to open my legs slightly wider, turn them out at the hips. So you're really getting a wrap into the glutes. So the legs are about the, the width of the mat right now. My elbows are in by my waist. My hands are close by my shoulders. I'm going to inhale. Draw my belly button in. Exhale. I'm going to hover my toes as I open my chest. Reaching there. Lengthen through the body. Inhale and take it a little bit higher for me. Onto the thighs. But pull the belly in. And as I exhale, I come down, I'm going to lift my legs up, but I'm not going to change the shape of my body. And I'm going to come up again onto my thighs and my pubis, pulling my tummy with me. And then I'm going to exhale to lift those legs onto the hips and the ribcage. And I'm taking that up again. So this is just a rocking in your swan. And send those legs as straight as you can, reaching off the thighs. Let's go one more here, lengthening, drawing the tummy up. And reaching those legs up, 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 up. Beautiful. Lengthen the legs down and lengthen the head, neck, and shoulders down. Very nice. Then turn back onto your back. Onto your front, yeah, onto your back. Okay, for our neck pull. Now, the neck pull is quite an advanced exercise, so I'm going to show you a variation of it. Okay, so we just work the back. We want to counter stretch the spine, which is really nice and powerful. So you're going to take your, your head, neck and shoulders up, all right, zipping up into the abs, and you're going to peel yourself off the mat. Get a nice length through the body, 
Try to tuck the chin in and bring the forehead towards the knees. Inhaling into the back. And then exhaling to open through the spine and get nice and long. Lengthening there, hinging. So for this one, you could reach here, drawing the back in and just getting a stretch here. Inhale, exhale. So this is a variation, sipping up. Just feeling the back stretching in the opposite direction as you reach over. It's nice to put the hands into the head and the heads into the hands and just feel that length of the neck Pull the belly in, pull the breastbone in, feel that counter stretch in the spine. Let's go ahead and flex the feet here. Inhale, and then stacking through the spine all the way up and down. So guys, maybe we didn't get in a whole 20 minutes of exercise, but I think that it's past your time of being here with me and I don't want to keep you long but there's so many exercises I'm going to have a whole month on so do enjoy we covered today our 100 classical a little bit of classical work our 100 our um, roll-ups our leg circles we did our rolling like a ball we did our single leg stretch we did our hamstring pull we did our crisscross we did our swan dive prep and then we finished up with our neck pull with the modification. So I think we did pretty damn good there. <laughs> oh my God, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I just love doing this. So meet you again here tomorrow, okay? Great stuff. All right, and tell your friends. <laughs>